recording made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ made easy, easy tutorial and uh, sorry about that but in this tutorial we are going to be learning about C++ 11 style arrays now whenever we made a regular array it was um, it was a C style array and it, it worked fine you know working with arrays was fine but it wasn't really that dynamic and the, the the thing was, I don't think I've made a tutorial on this yet, uh, but with an array, you never need the size of an array. So if you wanted to loop with, through it, you'd have to use what was called the size of function. And I never showed you that, but I will show you that in later tutorials. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, there is a reason why I haven't taught size of yet because there's um, I'm going to go into great detail on different things of the size of and going to include it with other things. But if you wanted to loop through this and you never knew the size of the array or something, then it would give you um, it would give you some trouble. And what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the uh, the C plus plus eleven style array, which is the more recommended style array. And it uses the um, it is more dynamic. So we're just gonna add in the type name, and we take in a size underscore t type variable. And I know I never taught that yet, but we will be getting to that later on. Um, it is a um, it is a variable type, but it just takes the size. So let's just say we make an array size of three. So that's the same as just saying int. Uh, and let's just name it. Uh, let's just name it array. Uh, or let's name it um, temp array. So that's the same as saying int temp array three. We're just doing it different. We're doing it the C++ style way rather than the C style method of doing it. And so we can uh, we can add in a bunch of different elements to it. And how you how you can add the elements to it is the same way that you've been adding. You can. Um, declare elements for your regular array so you can do something like that and with that you, you've just set three values for your array. now because the C++11 style array is including the standard template library it comes with a bunch of different helper functions or helper methods or whatever you like to call it and so we can loop through the size of it which we couldn't do with regular style arrays and we can loop through it in and do certain things we can just say CL and we can say temporary I and STD and L and we can loop through it like so through random access and uh, we can also you, we can also use iterators so we can also say array and three uh, iterator and we can make an iterator and we can loop through it so we can say it is equal to temporary dot begin i not equal to temporary dot end and we'll say it this should be it and We'll take a pointer, we'll display the pointer to what IT is pointing to, and we should get the exact same result. So as you can see, voila, we've got the exact same result. So um, that is basically it. And you already I've already explained in earlier tutorials the, the different functions, right? These should all be familiar to you, or majority of them should be familiar to you. So you, I don't really need to go through them. But with the using the C++11 style arrays, you already you specify yeah the size of it but you have a lot of other helper functions to help you do stuff with it so anyways that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe and well sorry but bye for